Hello, my YouTube friend. Today's lucky number is three. That's right. Three days in a row I've made videos and one box, two boxes, three boxes of Funko Pops. Ooh, I'm excited. I have so many collections to go through that I should be able to do a video every day for at least a week straight. So I'm really excited for that. I kind of missed. I hadn't done a video in like 10 days, so I kind of missed doing them and I'm really excited to get back on the ball. So I bought this collection. It's not a really huge collection. It's got some interesting stuff in it. I paid $130 for it. I forget how many pops, maybe 20 or 30 pops. I bought it from a guy named Will. I bought from him before. I did uh, a couple weeks ago, I bought a collection from him. He just decided that he had more pops. He wanted to thin out. Being in New York City, a lot of people lately have been selling parts of their collections. Just there's not enough room to collect all the pops you want. So I'm finding that a lot of people are starting to kind of like condense their collections and focus only on maybe only on Harry Potter or only Star Wars or only Marvel or only certain things. So I think that's what he's doing. I think he was just limiting his collection. I paid him 130 but I also traded him, I believe, $36. Where he had two Spider-Man pops. He had Miles Morales and a Collector Core Spider-Man Homecoming pops. So I traded him those two plus $130 for what's in these boxes. So I think he was really happy. Thank you, Will. I really appreciate that you sold me a little bit more of your collection. And let's just start digging into these boxes. Here's what box number one looks like. All right, so if I remember correctly, I think there's a lot of commons. So a lot of stuff that's not like super exciting to me. But there's a couple of newer exclusives and a couple things I needed. So it's going to be a mix of stuff from my shop that I'm going to put in my store. And stuff I'm really excited to add to my collection. Let's see what we got. Okay, first we have Killer Croc from the Suicide Squad. I'm pretty sure I have that one, so I'll be sticking it in my shop. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is super duper cool. Okay, from GameStop, we have the Green Space Invader. Now, I do really, really want to put this set together. I think with the 8-bit pops, when they do like 1980s, mid-80s video games, they're perfect. So I really like the Space Invaders. There's, what, six or seven different, so it's a little bit overwhelming. And my patron, Sam, already offered to pick one up for me if I didn't have it yet. But I told her, don't worry about it because I have a feeling I'll be able to pick these up semi-cheap. Just because I feel like I don't think they're going to have a high value over time. I think these ones are ones I'll pick up on sale eventually. This will be like GameStop, $5 each, I'm guessing. That's my prediction. I could be completely wrong. I think they're really cool. It's just the fact that they made eight different colors. I think it's just going to overwhelm people. It's super cool, though. I think that's awesome. I'm definitely keeping that one. Really excited for that, actually. Uh, oh, this is cool. Okay, we have a GameStop only Venom pool with phone. That's exclusive. I don't have that one yet, and I really, really wanted that one, and I want the regular version. So I'm super excited to get that. I actually want all the Venomized Pops. Those are my number one wants right now, and I don't have any of them yet. So this is not technically from that series, but it is a Venomized Deadpool. So I guess this is my first version of the Venomized Pops. So happy with that. That thing's awesome. So happy to have that. Uh, okay, this is cool. We have Kratos from God of War. He was a PlayStation Store exclusive, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it just says officially licensed. So maybe he's a common. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't played God of War. I've seen it played by a few people on Twitch. So I kind of know about it, but I'm... I'll, I'll keep it because I don't have it, but it's not something I really know about. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is cool. We have Robin as Red X. I like the Teen Titan Go series. This is a series I want to finish playing together. I think I have that one, though, so I'm going to sell that one. I like the show. I mean, I know there's the controversy. A lot of people like the original Teen Titans from the early 2000s. I like the 2000s Teen Titans, but I also like Teen Titans Go because it's... A, I mean, it's aimed for a younger audience, but it's a comedy show, and I find it super funny. So I kind of like both of them. Not trying to start a controversy, but that's a set I love putting together. And the other thing you have to remember is they're Funko Pops. So whether it's Teen Titan Go or Teen Titans, it's a pop version of the character. So it kind of really doesn't matter. It's still the character. Next we have... Oh, we have the regular Riddler. Pretty sure I have that one. So I will be selling that one. I think a lot of the commons I had already. Uh, oh, Thor Ragnarok Loki. I'm not 100% sure if I ended up getting the plain Loki. So that one is a maybe keeper. I know I have the subscription box one. And I have, I think, one other exclusive. But I don't know if I ever got the common. Oh, this is cool. We have the Toys R Us exclusive James Bond from Dr. No. I don't have that one. So really happy to get that one, actually. I only have one or two other James Bond pops. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Uh, okay, we have another God of War PlayStation. I don't know if it's PlayStation Store or just... I guess it's officially licensed, but it's Atreus. And this pop looks really cool. So I'll be keeping that one. Really like the way that one looks. 
Okay, next we have uh, oh Aquaman from Justice League. Uh, there's a lot of Aquaman pops out there, so I don't remember if I have this one. I think I do, but I have to double check. I might have other versions, other exclusives. Uh, I can't keep track of it. <laughs> so I'll uh, I'll double check. He might be for sale in my shop. Okay, we have Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat X. I think I have this one. So that one will be put for sale. I could probably be putting a lot of these for sale. Oh, this is cool. We have a Mark One Iron Man from this year's San Diego Comic-Con. That one I definitely have, so I'll be putting that one out for sale. That one seems to be... I keep picking it up, so... And he sells really quick. Oh, this is super cool. Okay, we have Korg from Thor Ragnarok. This is one of the few I knew I was missing that I really, really wanted. I love rock monsters. And I love Korg. He's such a funny character. So that one I'm really excited to pick up. I, I mean, he's not really valuable. A pop price guide had him at like a high price, but they had a glitch or error in their data. So I had to double check. And it was, it was all, still only selling for 10 So I almost paid $12 for it. But I'll double check a pop occasionally when I'm paying for stuff. If I think the value is faulty. Because both Stashpedia and Pop Price Guide sometimes has faulty data. But either way, I'm super happy to have that. I think I need Hella. There's two versions of Hella. I might need one more. And then I'll have the set. When it comes to Marvel Pops, I usually just wait and get them in collections or when I'm cheap. Because it's rare for them to go up in value real quick. It might After a couple years, they might become vaulted and go up in value. I usually don't race to buy them at full retail. Because I know most of them you can get up a little cheaper. Okay, let's check out box number two. Here's box number two. It looks like it has some cool stuff in it. So let's check it out. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, cool. We have Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm pretty sure I have that one. So that one will be for sale in my store. Uh, oh, this is cool. I love this pop. I think it's an awesome looking pop. It's Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to Future. But it's a Loot Crate pop. And those tend to be the most common. So I think I have a couple of them. And I think I just got one in the last collection. So I'm going to have a couple for sale in my shop. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have an Popster Two-Face. I'm not 100% sure if I have that one. I know I need a few of the Impopsters. I only have about half of them. So if I have it, I'll put it in my shop. But if I don't have it, I'll be keeping it. Okay, next. Oh, this is cool. From the Batman animated series, we have Scarecrow. I'm pretty sure I have that one. So I'll be selling that one. I love that set. I think I'm only missing one more to complete this set. So I need to get it. Uh, oh, very cool. We have Owen with Baby Raptor. This is a Target only Jurassic World exclusive. I think because he traded for two pops, he wanted the Collector Core Spider Man and the Miles Morales. I think it was this one and the Space Invader was kind of like the ones I was trading towards those. So that's kind of like if it's something I want that I don't have, I'll usually do an equal value kind of trade. And those are two new ones I didn't have. So I was excited for that. Okay, this is cool. We have Suicide Squad, Katana. I'm pretty sure I have that one. So that one will be in my shop. That one I seem to get often too. Uh, okay, we have Superman Soldier from Batman vs. Superman. I have that one as well. And that one, I might actually have a few in the shop. He doesn't really sell that well. And, oh, okay. And then we have uh, Mr. Freeze. His box is kind of damaged. I think I paid him cheap on this one if I remember correctly. But it's okay. I think I have that one. So I'll probably stick it in my shop. And I'll probably put it out for... I have to double check to see if it's vaulted. If it's not vaulted and it's still selling cheap, it'll probably be like $6.99 in my shop. And that's it for that box. Okay. Okay, let's check the last box out. All right, that's what box number three looks like. It looks like there's more cool stuff. I mean, commons, but really cool commons. All right, let's check it out. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, this is cool. We have an Impopster, the Penguin. Again, I don't remember if this is the one I need. I know I need about half of them, so I might be keeping that one. Not 100% sure. I uh, I haven't really paid attention to which ones I have, so I know I need a few. I just don't remember which ones. Oh, this is cool. From The Godfather, we have Michael Corleone. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I don't have that one, so I don't think I only have The Godfather himself. So that's really cool. I'm actually happy to get that one. That's cool. Very cool, actually. Oh, we have a regular Unmasked Black Panther from the movie. That one I'm pretty sure I have, so I'll be selling that one. And it'll probably sell quick. Black Panther seems to sell real quick when I put them out. Uh, oh, we have Trigon, Toys R Us exclusive from Teen Titans Go. I have that one already, so I'll be selling that one. Next, we have Robin as Nightwing. I think I just have Robin with Baby, so I might not have that one. That might be one I actually need, which would be awesome because I want to finish that set. I'm close. I have like 30-something of them. Okay, next we have... Oh, FYE exclusive Pennywise with teeth. 
I don't think this is the one I have. I might have this one. I know I have one of the FYE exclusives. I just don't remember. It was, it was gifted to me by a guy named Jeff. So I have to double check if I have that one. Oh, this is cool. Spider-Man Homecoming, Peter Parker. I My son might try to claim that one because I think he wants that one. But I have that one already. Uh, okay, we have from Mortal Kombat X. We have a Sub-Zero, the common, not the chase. Uh, I have that one already, though, so I'll be selling that one. Uh, oh, I love this one. From the Batman, the animated series, we have Clayface. He's just a really, really awesome looking pop. I love this pop. I love muck monsters, rock monsters, just any kind of elemental monster in general. So I love this pop. I have it already, though, so I will be selling that one. Uh, next, we have Hawkman. I think this is kind of an underrated pop just because he looks so cool. The detail's amazing on him. I think it's because he was a small character on the show. And, you know, he's the show version. The show's not that popular, I think. I think it's a little bit less popular than The Flash and Arrow and whatnot. But I think the pop's awesome. And I have that one already, so that one will be for sale on my shop. And then we have, I think this is the last one, yeah. The last one we have is the Toys R Us exclusive boost banner from Thor Ragnarok. Awesome pop. I love that pop. I, uh, I really like the new one that they're coming out that's similar. That's him starting to turn green a little bit from Infinity War. So I'm looking forward to get that. I actually want all those new Infinity War ones. But this one's really awesome. I I think I might have it. So I have to double check my collection. That's one I'm not 100% sure on. But I'm pretty sure I have it. So I probably will be selling that one. So that's pretty cool. That's all the pops. All right, I think out of this collection, the ones I like the most that I needed was definitely the Venomized... Deadpool, this one's super awesome. I'm so happy to get that. I was just thinking I really wanted this one, so I'm happy I have that one. I also really like the Space Invader one. I do want the whole set of all eight, but I'm aiming to get them all for like five to seven each because I know if I'm patient, I'll be able to get those cheap. And the Korg. This is the one I really wanted that my son got this one for Christmas, and he always points out that he had it and I didn't, so <laughs> I'm kind of happy I finally have him because I was getting afraid when I saw that he was selling for 25 on the pop price good. For a second there, I got really scared that he's vaulted and would be hard to get, but he's not. You can still get him for about 10 bucks. But either way, when you see that and that happens, and you know that feeling like, oh my god, I missed out, you know it's something that you want. And I knew I wanted this one, so this one was cool. Really happy to have that one. All right, thank you, Will, again, for selling me your collection and doing a little bit of trade. I really appreciate it. i definitely adding a handful of stuff to my collection that I'm really excited to have. And a bunch of stuff is going on in my store, so I know a lot of people are going to be happy. There's, I mean, it's common, so it's going to be $10 pops. But a lot of people will be happy to get a little bit older, harder to find pops. I think that's the one thing people like about my store is I don't really have the newest releases. I don't order from Funko that often just because the wholesale price is too high. So I have too small of a margin. But uh, I might start ordering more and more since a lot of you guys are starting to visit my shop. So I might start getting some new releases. But in the meantime, I think a lot of people just like visiting my shop because I'm going to have stuff that's a year, two, three, four years old. Not necessarily the vaulted expensive stuff, but more of the common stuff. But still a nice little selection that you're not going to find in most stores because it's older stuff. So stuff you can't find in the stores anymore, which is fun. I kind of like having a little bit of a vintage selection. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm motivated to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you really enjoy this big, mega, epic Funko Pop why don't you click the robot's face and subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega Funko Pop videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!